What's up, world? Now, I may, may not fully understand the ramifications of this question or why my brain is wondering this, but do you ever feel... I know there's, you know, there's a higher power of some sort, and I know there's a heaven and there's a hell, and a lot of people believe that there's a heaven and a hell. But it, this isn't about God and the devil. What I'm asking about is much stronger or much more, you know, interesting a theory, so to speak. And this is just this is just my opinion. I'm not saying everyone has to believe this opinion. And I was thinking. If we all have guardian angels looking over us, and I'm not talking about our parents or our siblings or aunts and uncles or our grandparents or a friend or anything like that. I'm talking actual angel that God sends down or, you know, that the devil sends up. And it may not be a guardian angel from the devil. It may just be a demon. But... What is there, I, I don't know how to, I'm not asking for anyone to get religious in this situation, but, or, I was wondering, like, what is their job, or not, not their job, what do they do to make our lives better? And I'm not saying, you know, the devil wants to make our lives better. He probably wants to make it worse. And God, God wants to make it better. It's just, I'm confused, because there are, there, he, he is up there with his angels, and, and, are we angels? Are we all embodiments of what God envisioned us as, or are we something more? Are we something completely different than that? I don't know the, all the answers. I wish I did know all the answers, because... I, I wouldn't have to ask this question to, to y'all. But how are we impacting this world? And how is how did God envision us? Or how did we become into this world? And what what do we do with the information that we have? Because from what I've seen in my 30 years of life, not everything is all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and and whatever else is positive in this universe. And then I'm thinking, where do we go from here? What is next? And I'm not talking about, you know, for me, I'm not talking about getting the job. I'm not talking about the relationships. I'm not talking about the family that I'm not going to have. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. I'm talking about what's next. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not looking at the future. I'm just saying, like, we've all had our bad times. We've all had our good times. But what's after the good times? And what's after the bad times? I mean, after the bad times, it's probably more good. It's probably good times. But, like, I don't get it. I don't understand how this universe we live in, this circular universe we live in, goes on after we're gone. And then we get reborn. Or, if you don't believe in that, that's perfectly fine as well. What happens next? After, we're, after, after we are gone from this earth. I don't plan to leave this earth anytime soon. Or... I plan to leave, you know, 60 to 80 years down the road. It, my question, it, it's not really a question, it's just wondering, what happens after we die? That's the great mystery that I think everyone wants to know. And I think everyone wants to know what's next in life for all of us. It could be while we're still alive, or it could be after we die. We don't, I don't think we know the, all the answers that the world wants us to know. 
And I think we need to start figuring things out. What is this planet going to become, you know, a million, a hundred years from now, or a thousand years from now, or a million years from now? What is it that's going to make this world the best world in the world? Because, you know, there are so many different universes. There's so many different systems, solar systems out there. There's, it just, it baffles me that we've only, we've only learned a small portion of how the universe works, our universe, how each dimension works, because there are multiple dimensions on this planet. And I'm not just talking about from what I've been watching on the OA, which is a TV, which is a show on Netflix. I'm talking about a deeper level of knowledge that we have not even come across in this vast world that we live in. I want to know more. And I'm no scientist. I'm no, I'm no, you know, Einstein or ma mathematician or a study of the universe type of person. But I would love love to learn what is next what is it that is going to keep this planet and I'm not talking about you know replanting the world and making a better place I'm not talking about the radiation or you know any of that stuff I'm talking about the important things like how are we going to keep this planet from deteriorating and and just, I'm not, I'm not talking about carbon footprinting. I'm not talking about any of that stuff. I'm talking about how are we going to make this planet inhabitable for generations to come? Because I don't want to see this planet disappear completely off the face of of the world and the and the cosmos, if you will. And I know there's a show that that was on Netflix called Cosmos. I don't know if it's still on there. And I'm not, you know, some, you know, person who knows everything, like I said earlier. I wish I did, because then I would have some answers for you, and some of you might have some answers for me, like, on what's next after we die, or I'm not, I'm not trying to be morbid, I'm not trying to be anything like that. I'm just, just curious. What happens when we, this generation, and the generation before us, and the generation before us, before them, and then the generation after us, and the generation after them, what, what are they going to learn about Earth? What are they going to learn about space that, that we don't know? And that no one has tried, no one has figured out. That's that's just my hypothesis. That's just my opinion. I don't know what the answers are. I don't know if the answers are right in front of us. I don't know if you know if my guardian angel from heaven is watching down on me and gonna give me some answers and some clarity of what I'm supposed to be. I know I'm supposed to make YouTube videos every single day. And break records and break bear and break you know. I'm not gonna say break the internet because someone's already done that. I'm talking about you know all the things after YouTube. When I call it quits in 50 years, what happens then? And are we gonna be able to live to you know 300 years old? Are we gonna be able to do what we want to do? Those are the questions I have not just only for him, but for my guardian angel, for anyone who know who can possibly know the answers to that question. And I know some of you who are doctors and and scientists are probably gonna answer my question. And it may make sense to me or it may not. I still have the question. What happens? 
in other dimensions? What happens on other planets? What happens next? Not just for me, but for every single human being on this planet. And every single human being or creature or alien that lives in other galaxies and other dimensions, what happens to them? This is a deep conversation, and I know not everyone's going to have the answers, because I sure as heck don't have the answers of what happens next after this life or the life after this or anything like that. I just, I just need, I just want to know from my guardian angel and from God, what is, what is happening to me? What's going to happen to me? Am I going to be able to be reborn as what I want to be reborn as from my notes on my phone or what? So with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you ponder what I asked in this video. And just be the best version of yourself. Bye-bye.